break out from the prison cell that held us bound to yesterday's exploits. Right now, we're crafting a new sound. Let the whole world hear we're screaming out loud. No more underground. Ah, we are unstoppable. Nothing can hold us down. Oh, can you hear the sound? We're set to break new ground. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry, sir. I'm Your sorry, ma. Breaking, <laughs> breaking, breaking new ground. 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 And then there's breaking, breaking new ground. ground. That's yeah. why I'm, I, at least I'm there now. Yes. Yeah. yes. <laughs> I'm on the <laughs> Hi, people. Hi, Lara. Hi, Ray. Hi, Tony. Oh, Hi, Gansky. Anton. 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 How many of you am I attacking? Anyways, it's the radio show live on Echo Television International. Yeah, yeah. Of course, as usual, we have different topics that we always talk about. Mm -hmm. And I hope you always have fun. Did you miss us? Anyways, it's another great day again. Now, we want to talk about something. Hmm. Are you a freedom fighter? It depends um, on what I'm fighting for. <laughs> Honestly, I'm not. Are you a freedom fighter? Tony? Yes, I am. Yeah. Okay, please I've explain. Fought, I have fought so many battles. Mm. I know. He's trying to say war. I'm not surprised. Mm -mm. <laughs> okay, I'm now, not okay. <laughs> Tony, I don't mean you should just take it generally. <laughs> okay, we start with, okay, let's say um, you want to leave your family house. Okay. Now. You know, when I said I have fought so many wars, mm -hmm. so many battles, okay. I was not lying. I, I wow. Like, <laughs> <second honestly, laughs> like, I give a Like, I am not lying. <laughs> okay. I know what, I know the kind of fight, argument. Your TV. father is watching you. <laughs> <laughs> that's why that's I'm coming to you now. Okay. So <laughs> I, know, I know a lot of things I have to put my dad through hmm. just hmm. for him to let me let be. you be wow okay be ah. and i want to believe that this thing is very common among especially firstborn mm. or first child mm. of every family are you yeah I oh, am. okay and so like actually whoa are saying it on <laughs> international television i did not say <laughs> I, oh, I am not saying i am a tyrant okay i am only don't trying to me. let you don't know that me. i fought so many battles because you time. want to leave your because house you because i wanted to leave. you should have left peacefully now I did. Uh, you've been getting money <laughs> it's not about money what i, I, about like enjoy being on your kid. What I wanted to the thing is I, I think our parents some of our parents mm -hmm. i don't know though but i feel they are just doing some of those things in order for them to secure us and then of to, course, to, to, to secure us one and then to 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 to, to make sure by all means that we don't fall to being a victim of one circumstance mm -hmm, or the other that mm -hmm, life mm -hmm. is likely to yeah. change I mean, it's tr tr likely to throw to us to us us and all of that mm -hmm. but then they fail to understand that sometimes we are supposed to go out there and strive Mm. You're supposed to go there and face the challenges that life mm -hmm. that life has thrown, uh, has thrown or is throwing yeah. to virtually everybody. Mm. You don't just expect me to be at home mm. and then wait for you to either come and feed us as usual and all, all of that. I don't expect you to come back home. Tell tell me of your experiences of what you have come across in your daily activities, your daily stuff and all of that, and then you expect me to just you know contribute to nothing because I am not faced with any challenges yeah. as such. So yeah. stuff like that should to some extent you know uh, I, I don't know how to put it, but stuff like that is supposed to make them understand the fact that we are also we are also supposed to be out there mm -hmm. striving hard and all of that like there are a lot of words there, there are a lot of things that i had to do just for my dad to allow me leave the house well anthony like you see but this is your type of freedom fighting 
um i personally don't have a problem with, with it, it because when you look at it it's more like you telling your parents to allow you to be more independent mm -hmm. and you happen to have a parent that feels you're still my baby mm -hmm. i mm -hmm. still need to take care of you you still need to be under my roof and all of that and i feel sometimes this is one difficult one for our nigerian parents mm -hmm. like they they find it hard to agree that you've actually grown up and to allow you to go out there and be your man be your woman or stuff like that yes, however the freedom fighting that i don't like is a freedom fighting you find among teenagers growing young adults mm. under their parents roof mm. you understand you want so much freedom without consequences without mm. being answerable mm. without being responsible mm. you want to be out all night and don't be questioned you want to misbehave mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. don't be questioned you keep saying it's your right i have the right to do Go this i have the right enough. to do that mm -hmm. i'm old enough for this but then you're still under your parents it's different it's different if you feel yeah. like I can <coughs> go out, make money for myself, and, and be independent. Mm. But no, you want to be under their roof, eating their food, asking what them what for money, to be there, and still of you fighting for freedom. Child. Like, what freedom are you fighting for? You see, most people that fight for freedom, to me, I feel because they just want this time for themselves. Mm. They want to go clubbing. They want to go to this party. They want to just mm. go out and come back at their own time. Yeah. Now, they feel if you scold them, for instance, now you go out and then you come back, let's say, past 10 p.m. and then your mom is like scolding you mm. like why did you stay out late you're not you're, you're supposed to be responsible and all of that and then you be like i'm going to leave this house for you and all of that like seriously because they're mm. trying to make you a better person now there are people that are frustrated in their homes today because let's say for instance you're of age and mm -hmm. then your mother is always pestering you about you need to get married and then let's say you don't maybe you've tried maybe like three or four relationships and then it didn't work, work out yeah. now you alone know what you're going through but your mom doesn't know that you're actually fighting these things mm -hmm. but now she just wants you to get married now I, I i'm not saying it's justifiable for you to want to leave the house because of such things but then i feel there's a way you can talk to your parents mm -hmm. about such situations okay i want to get married not like i don't want to but then you need to give me time not like i'm just eating your food and then all of that let's mm -hmm. say for instance i'm working and then you want me to just get married because you want me mm -hmm. to leave your house then it's so, it's, so, it's painful to me because I feel you're trying to chase me out of the house. It's a different ball game. Then let's talk about you now trying to leave unnecessarily. Now this is what I want us to talk about based on people who want to just leave their homes unnecessarily yeah. because they want you to be a better person. And then now you feel like they just don't want you to do what is right. Or rather yeah. you feel what is right. Most times we children of nowadays feel our parents are old school. Mm-hmm. You know, so thing. like they don't know what is happening yeah. like they don't know what is happening in the society today or they're not really feeling this thing that you're doing like mm -hmm. this is your time like this is our generation allow us to do what we want exactly. to do exactly now the thing is it's not about our generation they say what an elder sees sitting down mm -hmm. you as you young even yes. if you climb an Iroko True, tree you will not yes. see it True. now it's not a literal thing but then they have lived the life They've they know seen they have seen it, seen it. most of them before. have been experienced so all these things the, whatever thing you're experiencing it's possible that they likely have experience even more than what you've experienced true mm. so true. and if someone have experienced more than what you've experienced then the person is likely to know everything virtually that is come that is likely to be a result of what you are doing or something like that mm. so if as a parent and then there happens to be clashes between you and the child sometimes what you do as a parent is try to sit the child down mm. and then if there are stories of which you of, of which of, of things that you've likely have done in the past wrongly Mm. and then the repercussion came haunting you then you share these stories to them mm. by the time yeah, no i mean the pa like parent to child now okay mm. you share the parent this now to their yeah children. yeah you share okay. you share this story with them and then from there there's every tendency that he or she is likely to learn from that lesson mm -hmm. from mm -hmm. that experience but then sometimes sometimes i think it's natural for a child and a parent to have this normal freedom or self-independence clashes mm -hmm. because at, at, at there's a point in time as a child that you just want to be on your own mm -hmm. you don't you wouldn't want anybody to talk to you mm -hmm. you feel they, they don't like they can't even talk to you because you are old enough to do whatever you, thing you, want, you to want to do you can't choose whatever thing you want to choose like without you know better than you. And yes so yeah. in that regard in that regard anything that would make them to make any decision for you mm -hmm. or to control you you wouldn't want to you wouldn't want you wouldn't now agree that, that is a freedom fighting that i am against and mm. i'm not going to hide my opinion about it not because i am perfect concerning 
being an obedient child but just as i said it i've never been a freedom fighter not because i don't have reasons to be a freedom, freedom fighter, fighter or there are things that i shouldn't fight my freedom for but um as long as you're under their roof you can't be a freedom fighter honestly you can't like be a freedom bully. fighter under their roof the <laughs> day you, you know sorry the sorry that i'm cutting you in yeah talking about that freedom you've been under your parents roof mm-hmm. and then you can't fight for your own freedom there was this story my dad i think he, he told us one time that the the the, 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 the father asked the son to leave his, his house. house and the son replied him that I think I should be the one asking you to leave my father's house. Mm. <laughs> you, you get the jerk, like because yeah. this is my father's house, and you can't change from I, my I, father's I house. Get so you know. go back to your own father's house and leave there. As far as I'm concerned, this, this is, is my, my father's, father's house. Okay. <laughs> so <laughs> you get. Okay. All right. So as I was saying, for example, it's not even for example for reality. Mm-hmm you can't okay say you've reached the age where they can't tell you what to what do, to do. Mm. if you've reached the age where they can't tell you what to do you're not supposed to be under their roof you can't Simple. even you can't even if you've be. reached the age where you feel they can't tell you where to go to and how long you're to stay out you're not supposed to be under the roof have you ever heard your mm. grandfather calling your dad and asking him really? have you reached home mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and oh, you are late it's seven home. o'clock be going back to your house no but you need to understand that everything parents do is out for care. Okay. Mm. Is it has love. nothing to do with them hating you. True. It has True. nothing they to do with the them not wanting you. the best for you or they don't want you to have fun. Sometimes we they are the ones that gave you that money. Mm-hmm. They are the ones that bought you the clothes. Mm-hmm. They are the ones taking care of you, catering for your need. So why in the world would you feel that your parents asking you not to do certain things is because they, they want you to you. miss out on the good life. No. Do you know that that's this, what, this that's issue of, this issue of fighting, yeah. fighting your parent or maybe having one I mean, uh, misunderstanding or, or another as with your parent, sometimes I think it boils down to the fact that you feel you are you are their responsibility mm-hmm. and it is a right for you to fight for your freedom even if they tend to d- mean to to to, to to give you whatever thing that yeah, is, that is expected of them to give you, like you feel it is their responsibility, and of course, if they do don't, I mean, if they don't do it, of course you are likely to do something that will bring even a more shame mm-hmm. to the family. Mm-hmm. So they don't just have the choice rather than p- uh, providing you this whatever so amenities you or know, whatever um, thing that they are, they are meant to um, provide for you. There's this musician that sang this song about um, he woke up one Sunday morning and he told his dad that he's leaving the house. Mm. And the dad was kind of like, why do you want to that? He's like, he's old enough. Like, it's time mm. for him to leave and then mm-hmm. do all sorts of things he wants to do. And then, like, after a couple of years, he had to write his dad back and then he wanted to come back home. Mm. He said his dad did not tell him it wasn't easy out there. Mm-hmm. Now, that's something we fail to understand. We want to fight that freedom because we want to do what we want to do. Now, we fail to, we fail to think about what's Are going to happen. Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you like ready you're for fighting? the freedom? Are you ready for it's the freedom about, you want to about, fight? It's not about you propagating to leave the house. But then, are you ready to face the challenges? That do you understand? Because do you know me. that even in my midst of fighting mm-hmm. like right now mm-hmm. i feel like if i have the chance i will go back home do you understand like if you send you like that because it's not easy out there it's not easy out there there was a guy there was a guy of recent that stays in my my angwa mm-hmm. he was Your said area. in my area mm-hmm. in my area <laughs> so he does this um uh this uh clo- like what's it called now he washes clothes was dry cleaner dry cleaner. Yes. he dry cleans Laundry. so he was like I think he, that he thinks he's going to leave the house mm-hmm. because he stays with his mother mm-hmm. yeah. in the family house and he's the only guy there at home. There's mm-hmm. no other person that stays with them. So he's like, he's going to st- he's going to leave the house, find the apartment for himself and all of that. And, and I was like, bro, I don't think that is necessary mm-hmm. for now mm-hmm. because one, you are, still st- you are still struggling with this, your business. It's not as if you are does there yet. Yeah. And are besides, your, yet? Mom, your mom is hold. Mm-hmm. And nobody is oh. at home with her. Mm-hmm. So if anything should happen to her, of course, you will hold yourself responsible because mm-hmm. you feel, oh, supposing yeah. you are there, mm-hmm. you would have taken care yeah. of her. Yeah. Besides that, aside from the fact that you want to live and all of that, if you go out there, believe me, even your feeding alone mm-hmm. is going to be extremely difficult. It's going for to you. be of difficult. Course. So mm. have a rethink. <laughs> Stay with your mom <laughs> now. <laughs> Wait, see, I was saying this <laughs> out <laughs> of my own experience. experience. Do you know but what? You not understand. Like, I have this experience. Not like I, I, I needed to leave my house, but okay, let's say for okay, I was working 
and then i was not staying in the family house i was in a different state entirely and then it got to a point that okay i was not paid salary for like two months mm. now i don't have any sort of income except to just go to work sometimes i literally walk to the office mm. now there was no money there was no food I was wishing, it I wish I was at home. Even when I was at home, I would see food, I would eat yeah. to my satisfaction. Do you yeah. understand? Now, the point I'm trying to make here is that it is not easy out it's there for you to out fight there. to go Before on Before you your start own. fighting for your freedom, if you're watching really? us, if you're listening, you know that it is not easy. It's see, not easy out I was, there. See, it's not I easy. Was at some point in time, I was thinking and I was trying to wonder how the salaries that our parents were being paid then Do you understand? was able to cater for us. For all, all of us. Our secondary school, primary school tasha institution feeding allowances clothing like with I, how I much i was about to say something too financial i said the inflation <laughs> like, was better at that time <laughs> but, but, I, I, but even as, they, even as, the even as at then it was difficult for them it sure, was, but then they strived on yeah. but the, do you understand it so it's not easy out there for you to think you want to fight for your freedom mm. you are in your father's house and then your father is feeding you yeah. he's he's giving if you're sick he takes you to the hospital mm. now imagine you're on your own on your you own. fought for that freedom now you got I'm it on for okay you just come how are you feeling now Fine, they still go. They still you don't go with that. A nice one like, might give you food. One. <laughs> 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 Nobody go here. Like it's not yeah. easy out there. It's Think not. of your parents' mm. feelings. Now, if you don't know what they feel, you don't know how they feel that you're out there. Now, you make them to think, okay, now where are you? Mm. Are you feeding well and all of that? Now you are suffering out there. You end up joining different gangs. You end up joining groups that you're not supposed to be into. You end up doing things just to survive. Mm. But then if you're in your father's house, at least there's this sense of responsibility mm. that's going to come to you. You're supposed to think and be like, oh, I'm a Christian. Okay, I'm a believer. Okay, I'm from this home. I'm supposed to live respectfully yeah. because mm. I know once they see you out there, you're living the life that you're not supposed to be living. They'll be like, whose child is this? Mm. Oh, this person's daughter. So this is how she ended up doing. Do you understand? Like when you say you want to stay on your own, it is not easy out there to start with. We are not, saying, we are not, we are not even saying you shouldn't yeah. stay on your own. Yeah. But then but make sure that be you are responsible buoyant. Enough. You are financially mm. buoyant. You are matured physically and emotionally. Mm. To honestly, to, 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 honestly. To, 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 to battle whatsoever challenges that you are being going faced to come your way. With. And another thing I want to say is that Nigerian parents are just the best. Sure. Like they are absolutely the best. the best. And we are all blessed to have them. And mm. for those of you that don't have God will continue to console bless you. Yeah. So mm. God continue to comfort you. Amen. But we know that an average Nigerian parent mm. are just too much. They're sure. just Even over yeah. the top. You want to know because what they are doing until you leave home. Your freedom fighting they still step in when they can. Of they course. Can. True. Despite yes. your rebellion hmm. true. and your feeling you have arrived and wanting to step out, they keep coming in Check out you. the prodigal son. Exactly. <laughs> They're just that <laughs> when welcome do you understand for that you. Welcome they they just get. keep giving you second chances, third chances, fourth chances. Like they just you keep giving you all the uh, chances. Yes. And, and I think that if there's anything I feel that regarding freedom fighting that Nigerian parents need to work on not like I'm a I'm a parent yet but I feel what brings the clashes is you not recognizing that your children have grown mm. the manner of approach, approach change. 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 I yes. feel that's yeah. just it that's just it like one the time kind of scolding you would do for your 11 year old should not shouldn't be the same, be the same way you do for your 15 year let me even start mm. it from 15. No. it wouldn't be the same for a 19 it. year old and it shouldn't be f the same for a 25 year old i feel that's what that's where the balance, the balance is lacking and yeah, then there's true, that too true. much clash of fighting in the house and then the child now feeling i need to go you're not true, giving me my space want, but yeah. if you're just a stubborn child <laughs> Be careful, though. Rachel, I want, to, I want yeah. to relate to the issue of um, you being, you being, you, you being knowing the fact that okay, they are grown, and then I'm supposed to change my manner of approach and all of yes. that. There was one issue that I had with my dad. Hmm. I. Hmm. You're always having issues. Yes, I was always <laughs> having issues with my dad. <laughs> <laughs> are you a prodigal boy? <laughs> no, it not sounds me. like that. Though. Small, <laughs> small. This is what happened. My dad is this, kind of, is this kind of person that shouts a lot. Like mm. if you if you if you messed up or anything, he's hearing you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so he's he's the type that that shouts a lot. And me personally, I don't like shouting. Mm. Mm. So there was this day that I was driving him, mm. and then I, I I members kept like greeting him every <laughs> now and then, mm. and he was in a haste to where he was going. Mm. So I had to speed up and all of that. So even if 
they were greeting him. Mm-hmm. I had to it just passed. honk. Ju- no, I'll just honk the members okay. so that you just more of like wave, wave them and all mm-hmm. of that. Mm-hmm. So he was shouting that why wouldn't I stop oh, this and that? Why why wouldn't I know that? Me, I sh- I'm supposed to know that they are members, and if you did not greet them politely or the way you're yeah, supposed think, to, they yeah. will go back and start talking about him and all mm-hmm. of those things. So he was just shouting and all of that. So the next greeting that a member greeted him, I had to match the break completely on the main room. <laughs> <laughs> so I used the greeting that he wanted to. <laughs> Tony, that's you're just just so 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 <laughs> that is so So wait now. <laughs> so that's no, because I, I was already angry mm. with that shout and all of those things. <laughs> so when we got home, when we got home, my attitude and everything, my confidence and everything yeah, changed. Mm. So he was trying to to just draw me close. And yeah, all just that. trying to. So yeah, 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 it's in the evening. Him and my mom called me into their room. That they were, they've Let's noticed that case. they've noticed that all through the day since they came back, I've been doing my face, I've been cold, and all of that. And I was like, That the truth is, it's not everything that you people. I know you said it in language, speak. <laughs> 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 I said, It's not everything that we do yeah. that we, we people are supposed to shout, shout on us. Yeah, Sometimes yeah. talk to us in a very, in a very calm way, and we'll understand True. even we'll better. Understand. And my dad fled up. Again, no. <laughs> he said he said oh for the past God. 30 years <laughs> that he has been taking care of the children me taking care of yeah. his children that he has been taking care of people's children and so now you want to teach him I how to go yeah. how to mess exactly. you that, yeah, and i, I feel this come is where we him. clash yeah. you know these yeah. are the clashes clash. sometimes yeah. some of these things are challenge True. that you're trying I'm to challenge them under you it doesn't mean that i have I'm grown, grown. Do it doesn't you know mean that, that i am not that single that single that single uh utterance that i made that day almost made me make my dad disown me wow because wow. he told me that night that i should pack <laughs> one of the many battles for real <laughs> me. that's one I of the many battles that's since that's since i feel you're too big I, I for him to shout control at you. all of that yeah. i should leave him i should leave his house that night oh. you know people you're married but you're not above that i'm not yeah. above that you what i wanted but you to understand is See, talk Some to us in a calm way. That was just yeah, that was true. my drive after yeah, that day. The thing but is, then you, you misunderstood it. it. That's the problem. Our parents it. most times feel like they yeah. know everything. That's the we point. accept the fact they that you know everything. But that then the thing grown. is, of course, we've yeah. got to a certain level where if you will talk to us, you don't need to, s- to shout yeah. and be like, don't be on Tell top us of the your truth voice. in a way that it will pain us, but we will not be able to me, If you want to talk to me, if you want to advise me, don't shout on me. Just tell me in a very calm I will feel guilty. Or you'll be shouting like, will be there's hearing a way, you. Do you understand? There's a way you feel embarrassed if mm-hmm. they're shouting at you. Maybe your younger ones are there. Yes, then you yes, feel like exactly. they're shouting. And then you feel you want to leave the house. Yeah. Now we have a lot of reasons why we want to leave the house. But the point here is that it is not easy out there. It's not easy out no there. No matter how before you, you feel be your freedom before fighter, you be a freedom check your fighter, account you balance. Be ready. Like, <laughs> <laughs> it is not easy. We know what our society is all about. We know what our society is all about. And we know how people are faring and all of that. People don't even get the trees square meals again mm. mm-hmm. some people try to have the even those some people with their ones. parents are even struggling to that extent yeah. but then the thing is we should try to tell ourselves that we don't need to fight for this freedom we to go out of the house fight. but no. we need to talk to our parents in in a loving way Res- let's let's them. respect them and understand okay, okay fine i've gotten to this certain level you need to just talk to me calmly yeah. mm. if you want to advise me just talk to me the way mm. i should understand mm. not you shouting in front of me my younger ones younger or maybe one. visitors. imagine yeah. if you have visitors in the house and they'll just start scolding you and then you'll be like wow like are you for real so like so like we're like doing two it things it on it this show today like it's, yeah, so, it's so <laughs> obvious like my dad's <laughs> shouting is so obvious uh, like if 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 he's angry mm. and as a child you as his child just try as much as possible to hide Antonia, so that you, you shout like, out this episode your dad will not <laughs> I'm just trying to define <laughs> I'm just trying to define an African parent. I, I, I like how you're down to thing. earth about mm-hmm. this um, it's just topic. definition of For a, me, our parents. I will keep saying it. I have I don't have these encounters because I've never been a freedom fighter. I, I, had a too, ride. Never been me too. Like I have a mind of, of my own. own. But there are certain things that I don't feel I have the right to. I'm True. still under them. True. I don't when think I, I have topic, the right. When I saw this topic, I saw myself. Yes, I, I don't <laughs> feel like I have the right not like the fact to that be you're answerable <laughs> to, them, to them, not to be responsible or mm. not to not to hear them when they tell me to do this or do that and all of this that. And I was about to quickly say we did two things today. Okay. We helped each other mm-hmm. to tell ourselves the truth. Mm. That freedom fighting no easy. <laughs> it's not easy. And then secondly, we we also told our, our parents, parents, if any is listening to us, we mm. believe you are that 
we've grown truly despite mm. being under you mm. you should also change your approach towards or let it go with the growth that we've grown i don't know if you thank you sense. rachel yes, thank you guys like yeah. like okay <laughs> fine like i understand we all want to fight freedom but then yeah. you want to fight freedom make sure you know what you're going to face Wait in the way. future mm. no don't come back to your and then to our parents should be able to talk to us calmly now that mm. if you want to advise us talk to us well are you a freedom fighter out there if you are try to understand what it means to fight for your freedom understand. and then if you are not respect your parents and live the way you're supposed to live we'll still leave you with the song we started with and i hope you had fun and you learned something drop your comments on our facebook page and then we'll take it live We're living out loud. We're breaking new ground. We are unstoppable.